All right, so in today's video, we're gonna be talking about car pricing when it comes to hackling and negotiating because it looks like one of the number one reasons, one of them, uh, I think the number one is annoying salespeople or pushy salespeople, why uh, the consumer do not like buying from a traditional dealership. But one that comes in to a very close seconds is the negotiating. People do not like to negotiate uh, because they equally, some people are better at negotiating than others. And then whoever could negotiate better apparently gets a better deal and who can't negotiate better uh, gets a shittier deal. So I guess uh, people want a level playing field and they also just want to know that they're getting a fair price. They're not being taken for a ride. So in today's video, we're going to go through uh, some of our top online platforms that have absolutely no negotiation, like um, Canada Drive and Clutch. And we're also going to be looking at traditional dealers selling on Auto Trader to see if the prices are similar or the same. And the purpose of this video here today is to prove to you or or, or we'll see that it actually is true and you need to negotiate to see if you actually need to negotiate or not. Because if the online platforms that have absolutely no negotiations where they can just click and, and buy, or if you have to go to a traditional dealership, can I get a better price or similar price at a traditional dealership where you think you have to go and negotiate? So that's what we're gonna be trying to compare today. We're gonna be checking some of the popular cars that uh, people search like the Honda Civics and the Tesla Model 3. So uh, let's check it out. Check the mic and make sure it sound right, boys. Now, before we get into the uh, Tesla Model 3, or we'll start with the Civic first and then go to Tesla Model 3. I'm just going to show the back end of the YouTube here. So we're going to do a little bit of housekeeping. Uh, only 14% of you are subscribers. Uh, so if you don't mind uh, giving the, us a little bit of a thumbs up here and uh, basically subscribing, it will help the channel out. We appreciate it uh, if you enjoy that type of content. Now, if you're actually on a mobile phone and you hit the thumbs up, you'll see something like fireworks. So uh, check it out. Don't say I didn't warn you. Um, now, let's jump in to AutoTrader. Let's start with AutoTrader. Now, I kind of did a pre-search. So this video is not going to be, you know, ridiculously long. So just bear, bear here with me. <laughs> uh, we started with the Honda Civic. Now, I try to make it um, as similar as possible. So we're going to be looking today at a 2020 Honda Civic which is the uh, LX model, okay? And this specific Civic, I pulled it over on uh, three sites, like I mentioned. So first we are here on Auto Trader. Um, Auto Trader is written this Civic as a great price. It has currently 50,000 kilometers on it, or call it 56 rounded up. And uh, it is again, the 2020 uh, Honda Civic LX. Now, if we jump to one of our online platforms, which is Clutch, we're going to also look at 2020 Civic as well, LX model, uh, very similar. Let me just jump back for my memory sake here. So about 55,000 kilometers. Uh, clutch here have about the same 50,000 kilometers there. That's 59. Um, and they're selling it for about $24,000. Okay. So $24,000. And this is the same, pretty much $24,000. So in this case, uh, both clutch, and auto trader traditional auto trader have the exact same price so this basically in this case and this scenario shows that this online platform there's no way for me to negotiate if i want i can just click buy and then this car apparently will be delivered to my house and there was no negotiations there were no salespeople to deal with uh but equally i can go to this dealer here and based on what I'm seeing, there's no reason to negotiate because he's, pr he's priced very fairly with the market. I can just click and buy too. Because part of the secret is a lot of dealers don't like negotiating either, especially the smaller dealerships. Uh, because I have to spend two hours with you going back and forth before we can make a deal. The quicker I can make a deal if the price is fair and, and we can both say yes or no, I can move on to the, another customer. I know a lot of the bigger dealerships because they have a sales manager and uh, uh, all of these manager systems and they go to the manager and ask for a price. They're just playing the game because some of the consumers like to play that game to think they get a better price. But deep down inside, the consumer hate negotiating and a lot of dealerships hate negotiating as well. So somebody has to stop first. You know, who comes first, the chicken or the egg, uh, to decide who stopped negotiating first, okay? So in this scenario, you could have gotten a deal just as well without negotiating. Now, if I jump to Canada Drive, which is another great online platform to buy the car, in this one here, uh, the kilometers are a little bit less. So Canada Drive seems to be a little bit more expensive than Auto Trader and um, Clutch here, just because they have much lower kilometers. I didn't really filter for lower kilometers here, but let's just say I scroll 
up to see if I can find something with lower kilometers. This Civic here is 9,000 kilometers, same L uh, X model. So let's jump back to clutch. Okay, here you go. So again, just competitive in my opinion. So if I go here, this, oh, this is it's funny. This is actually from clutch. So this is on auto trader, uh, but this is also from clutch and clutch does have a, so now we're going to see a 2020 Civic with six, which 9,000 kilometers on all three sites. So this is on auto trader, but this is also from clutch. I mean, non hackling, you just click and buy. It has 9,600 kilometers selling for $26,000. And um, we can find the same or similar kilometers here. So 9,000 kilometers as well. This one is on Canada Drive, same LX model for about $27,000. So uh, clutch is still about $500 less than um, Canada Drive. Now I'm just going to scroll to see if I can find an, a dealer other than Clutch. With the same kilometers, that's the thing. Clutch ha seems like Clutch have lots of Civics uh, with low kilometers on it. So they have tons of them on order trader. So again, it looks like you do not even have to jump from site to site because it's good to know. And, and we discover in here that Clutch and because I did see some Canada Drive cars are on Auto Trader too. So quite frankly, uh, this is not sponsored by Auto Trader at all. I'm just saying, it, obviously, if you are searching for your cars on Auto Trader, that is already the best place to start. You don't really have to go on Clutch and then on Canada Drive and each dealer. Look, you're just searching on Auto Trader and you can find those platforms. Now, yes, if you see Clutch is being more competitive, then you can jump to Clutch website and buy directly on their website. If you see Canada Drive is being more competitive, you can equally jump to their website and buy it. Uh, there as well. Now I'm just going to go to one more page just to see if I can find a independent dealership other than Clutch because it seems like only Clutch have those Civics there because I, I filtered on the side here just to make sure that we are searching for the fair vehicle. I did filter on the side of Auto Trader 2020 and LX model Civics and that's why I can't find any other one. But the bottom line is in the two examples we found here, uh, you could get a, a, a good deal on either website so again you do not have to negotiate if you don't feel comfortable you could just look at the prices online if it's competitive you buy if it's not competitive just walk away and go to the next one and i bet you if the dealer is sitting on the car for a minute uh he will eventually he or she will eventually reduce the price in uh in order to get it sold okay so now i'm gonna jump to uh the tesla model threes now i also filter the tesla model threes for a um long range let me see which one we have here we have a 2021 tesla model free standard range plus now again starting with clutch website here with about twenty three thousand kilometers you can buy this car for about 60 grand okay this is basically sixty thousand dollars coming straight to your house twenty three thousand kilometers if i go back to auto trader let's see if we can find twenty three thousand kilometers twenty three thousand um, why is this thing here? This shift company has lots of um, Teslas. Uh, I, I honestly believe they buy some of them brand new because some of them, the kilometers are like literally 200 kilometers. So I swear they buy them for brand new and they just try to sell it here. Uh, Canada Drive here is popping up on the Tesla Model Freeze. They have tons of Tesla Model Freeze. Um, bear with me here. Okay, so probably we will not get as low kilometers as this. This is what, 23,000 kilometers. And this is 20,000 kilometers. So 20,000 kilometers is selling for $64,000 here. So this one is a little bit pricier here uh, on Auto Trader. So this shift guy here specializes in Teslas. He has lots of Teslas if you go to his main website. Uh, but I can find a better deal on Clutch. Uh, $60,000, so almost um, $4,000 less on the Tesla. But look, to be fair, well, this is not available anyway. It says sale pending. So obviously, if you're $4,000 below the market value, uh, it, it will be sold very quickly, okay? Now let's jump to, uh, what is this here now? Canada Drive. So, okay, Canada Drive 
I, I did filter this one. They have quite a few of them here. So it looks like the prices are pretty much uh, 63,000, 64,000, kind of in the 60,000 range. All of these here are also the standard range plus, okay? So 14,000, 19,000 kilometers. Let's see uh, on Auto Trader. And look, you have Canada Drive on Auto Trader here too. So when it comes to um, the model freeze canada drive is just as competitive as the other dealers here as well um, for some reason coach didn't have that many model freeze and the one that they have they had it significantly cheaper than the market value and it's already still pending for that reason okay um but if you're looking at what is actually available on the market right now is only canada drive and the regular dealers here uh shift which is one of the guys who is uh and I know in the U.S. Shift is another US, like online buying platform. In Canada, this is just a normal dealer um, selling his cars. Okay, uh, the price is just competitive: sixty-four thousand, sixty-four thousand for similar kilometers. Okay, um, and again, Canada Drive have tons of those vehicles here. So, in conclusion, all I'm trying to show here is both for the consumer side and the dealer side. Um, the, the idea that when you have to go to a dealership, you have to hackle in order to get a, uh, a better price, uh, I call uh, BS on that. In today's market, especially for our regulars, regulators pushing this all-in pricing system, we have to put our best foot forward. With the power of the internet, like you see, we can just do a search on here, and then I can compare dealer to dealer, uh, website to website, without even going into your dealership. And for that reason, a lot of dealerships are already putting their best price on the internet. Now, if we already put our best price online, you don't have to come into the, the dealership and uh, gotta get out of that mindset thinking you have to negotiate to get a better deal. And if you notice, a lot of dealers are equally advertising hackle-free pricing because they're trying to tell you when you come here, we're not gonna be hackling for you to try to get a better deal. They intend to give you the best possible deal they can based on what the market demands. Now, keep in mind, if if the only way you can uh, stop the negotiation, somebody has to stop first. If a dealer is overpriced, just don't call him. His phone number is on here. Don't call them. Uh, just buy the cheapest one online. Eventually, uh, when they realize the car is not selling, they need to move the inventory. They're not, they're not running a parking lot. They're running a dealership. They buy them to sell them to move them. They will reduce the price in order to move the car. On the flip side, same thing. If they get a lot of feedback on the car, they can't raise their price too. It's all about supply and demand. So you have a lot more power to consumer than you think. You shop around online. Uh, if the price does not fit your budget, move on to the next guy, move on to the next guy. But I, in this little scenario here, or this little example here, I hope it is helpful to just show you that if you do not really want to negotiate, you don't really have to negotiate to get a good price. You just have to spend your time and shop around online. It took me five minutes to check two cars just to see uh, who has a better price on which dealership. Now I can just call and buy from whoever is better, okay? Hopefully that helped. Don't forget to like, subscribe, share, and I'll catch you in the next one. Peace.